guys today i'm here to do a pan that palette update number one so my one month update i've been using this palette for i think um exactly one month um i think i update uploaded it on the same day that i'll be uploading this i think not 100 percent sure but it's really close um so my goal for this palette is to hit pan on 20 of the shades i've already hit some pan already i'm so surprised like i don't even know what's happening so i've been keeping a spreadsheet because this palette is new like i bought it new and then i started this project so i had no previous use um so i wanted to see like if i'm using the shade every day did it take me 30 days to hit pan on it two months whatever um so i've been keeping a spreadsheet so on the spreadsheet i'm gonna look at my computer really quick um i have used worn eyeshadow 14 days out of 28 days of the month and um i've already hit pan on one of the shades so when i hit pan on one of the shades i did go ahead and switch it out so i used the shade that i hit pan on one two three four five six seven eight times eight times and i hit pan eight times that just does not seem accurate to me but how the so let me show you the um palette really quick so i can explain it so here is my palette now so as you can see i've hit paint on this shade which is let me hold it this way um which is um this palette is really hard to figure out what um SBN is the one I use, hit pan on. So I'm just so confused. Like I literally used it eight times and I hit pan on it. Like and it's not like I'm like packing it on or anything insane to hit, try to hit pan. Like it's not that big of a deal if I don't hit a pan. Um but the thing with these sh the the matte shadows kick up a lot of powder and I'm getting ready to hit pan on this one matte shade up here. But I've used it more than eight times, so whatever. Um, but with that shade, um, I was using it with my finger um, because the shimmery shades are, um, they almost, they're really buttery and they almost remind me of ColourPop a little bit. They're not like cream formula, but it's weird. And so once I hit pan on that shade and started using this other shimmery shade called queen this gold shade right here um i was using i thought well since i hit pan so fast using my finger on that shade i'm going to use a brush and you put your brush in it and it looks like there's a lot of product but it does not transfer to the eye you have a lot of fallout and it wouldn't do anything so i started using my finger again but i just hate using my fingers for eyeshadows i really hate that so i've been taking the brush that came with the Urban Decay Naked palette and today it worked fine dry but it was still a little iffy so today when I put it on I sprayed it with Smashbox primer water and foiled it and it looks good it's completely covered my eyes there's not like um, patches that doesn't have any eyeshadow or like it's weird so I guess that's what I'm going to do from now on just use that brush um I don't I can't believe I hit pan on that already like that just I'm just so confused like I did not put anything extra on like I don't I don't know so really quickly we're going to talk about these shades that I've been using so I've first been using these two shades as an inner corner in light and beam I've been using those um I really like those very um nice pop of inner corner highlight and then I've been using these two matte shades silk cream and mfeo right here um in my crease with a more fluffy bigger brush those two shades and I'm getting ready to hit pan on silk cream I can see that it rings so by the next update I'll probably have hit pan on that so then after I do that I take this shade which is pooter and I put it on a smaller crease brush more just in the crease not like in transition crease area then I go in with um buns right here and um I put that on the outer V area 
and then I was using like I said SBN and then I switched to Queen on the lid so let's just get up and close I don't know let's see if you can I don't think you can tell well you can kind of see the rings on that a little bit so yeah um so I've already hit pan on one eyeshadow so for the most part for most of the shades other than like the little highlight shades if I hit pan on those I'll just keep using them um I'll probably keep using these matte shades up here things like that but like the eye sh the the shimmery colors um I'll probably just keep switching those out um every time I hit pan on one so that is my update for the month um I guess um I'm gonna try to hit pan on this gold color and this color will be my two goals for the next month so yeah so there is that um very weird update I'm still just so confused like I would have never expected um to hit pan on that I don't I don't know so I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will talk to you guys in my next update. Bye.